Alright guys, just a quick update on my Next 10 SE. Um, as you see here, those are the front Proline shocks. Uh, finally got these things in, um, ended up mounting these things up just a few days ago, and about ready to hit the track tomorrow and see how these things do. Um, I did go with the front versions of those Proline shocks. These are the Power Strokes. Um, had to slightly mod them to get them to work on the next 10 or Jammin SCRT trucks. Um, but it's a very simple mod. All you have to do is basically pull out the ball that comes in the eyelet at the bottom there, put in the stock ball off of the stock shock, and then take that wider eyelet, um, it's a black eyelet, and then use that as a spacer up at the top here, and you basically use that to mount up to the shock tower. So other than that, I did use the um, universal mounting kit, and that what that does is provides a plastic um, piece or flange that goes inside the aluminum shock cap um, to allow a three millimeter screw to go through. So um, that basically goes through there, holds in pretty tight, and with the use of that spacer, and then just a locking nut on the opposite side there, hopefully you can see that. Um, that allows for the mount of the shocks. So the screws are a little bit long there. I'll probably end up cutting those off. But other than that, it went on fairly easily. Um, I mounted the fronts up with 40 weight oil, and the rears are with 35, I believe. And other than that, it gives a pretty good ride height. Um, I'm going to test on the track tomorrow and see how it does. Um, I was running the long travel shocks on the front or the rears uh, from the stock shocks off the next 10. Um, because, as you see here, I do have those upper mounting holes, so it allowed me to um, run a little bit longer shock. And the only unfortunate thing on that is um, it really changes the suspension of the truck and makes it a little bit slower. kind of drives like an old Cadillac, uh, like a 76 Coupe de Ville or something with the, you know, the front end kind of raised up and kind of wallowing around uh, the track. So... Um, Shorten up the suspension and hopefully this thing will make it a little bit easier to corner. So, um, the rears, I think I showed this in my last video, but uh, here's the rears. And the same deal, uh, take out the uh, black uh, flange ball that comes with the um, Pro Line, put in the stock one. It rides just, I believe, on a 6 millimeter ball down there. And then take that black flange that comes with the, um, the bottom eyelet, put that up there as a spacer. And it provides a perfect uh, spacing of the shock, ironically enough. So that is it. I'm going to test this on the track tomorrow, and we'll see how it does. And over and out.